All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast coming to you live from the Lodge. My name is Will DeFreeze. Of course, today's episode is sponsored by Vizzy, the only hard seltzer with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. To my left, David Roth. Oh, man. I just uh, opened my timeline and looks like there's some controversy going down on Twitter. Have you guys seen this? There's a diner on the Hill in uh, D.C., that is, taking a position on a controversial debate. This is from one CNN's Jake Tapper. Uh, tell me when this gets weird. So we've got sandwiches on the menu. You've got a BLT, 595, grilled cheese, 450, egg salad, 595. Dylan, you're a big egg salad guy. Love egg salad. Hot dog, $3.50. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, that's the question. God. Answer the fucking question. It's not. No, it's not. Oh, did I, did I just put some sunglasses on that are meant for fishing? Because this is polarizing. I hate, What? Fucking Maui Will over here. Yeah. The meat's got to be flat. I feel like. I'll He's show you some, I'll show you some flat meat. Flat meat. Flat meat. Flat meat. Flat with an L? Like foldable flat meat, you know? Don't say foldable flat meat. Why? So, you, so you not think a meatball sub's a sandwich? Because those meatballs <laughs> do be round. That's Dude, a good I, point. I, <laughs> meatball is, subs are different. Today though. is a prime meatball sub day in oh, Austin, Texas. You're not wrong. It's also a prime... Uh, dank breakfast just down the street day, which no one just wants to join me on my journey did over you, there. Did you lift weights on an empty stomach again? Oh, I had a banana. Okay. Is that enough? I don't know. I'll Dave, help me. An, I have an article I mean to send, been meaning to send you. I will send it to you. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'll send it to do. you via text message. I've, I'm plateauing. I have been for the past 10 years. That's what happens when you get old. Is that like edging? Honestly, yeah. Like, it's, it's very unlike edging, actually. You're edging, edging your in fit- the gym, B. Yeah, you're edging your fitness. Edging in the gym is like... Uh, you're not fully like completing a rep? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. And you're just... <laughs> I'm trying to rep. Anyway. Just, I don't know if I would say that. Yeah, you got to yeah, chill. I don't, I, don't need, I don't either. But I, I did move big boy weight this morning. It was shoulder day. Also on this menu, a tofu sandwich. I'm sure it's not that crazy. It just sounds terrible. What's your, you got beef with tofu, Dave? You have, you, uh, no, you, I don't have beef with tofu because let's go vegetarian. There you go. It's weird because a hot dog is definitely not a sandwich. But I can't like, what you, explain it logically very What are you well. supposed to do, though, if you're the menu maker? Like, just have, like, a, a standalone, like, hot dog. We also have hot dogs. I don't why, know. Like, why do they even have to put the word sandwiches up there? Like, this is a, this is a pretty straightforward so, diner, it appears. Why can't you just put, like, everything on there? Potentially the like, just weirdest put lunch. part. Is that lettuce and tomato on the yeah, hot Yeah, that's a red flag. Oh. On this hot dog, they, they have both lettuce and tomato as if it's a cheeseburger. What I the don't heck? necessarily mind tomato, but lettuce? What okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're doing. Real quick. I'm ne- I've never seen a t- uh, hot dog like that. What's your ideal hot dog? Dressing and all. Ooh, um, it's just, it's yellow mustard and sweet relish. David? I like yellow mustard. Can I like I, sweet relish. Can I? I, I like I, onions and... If if it's there, I like some peppers. Can I also add, I like my buns untoasted. That's an interesting move, but I think that's one that I, I support. Thank you. I'm me, yellow mustard, chopped white onion. That's all you need. That ain't it, fam. That's all you need. That so ain't mine, it, fam. Woo! I think I'm pretty similar to Dylan, except for, like, obviously, I like to eat mine with my hands. Dylan, yeah. typically. Yeah. I go no hands. You also chew yours. <laughs> Come on, dude. What? Don't do that. You just... You just that's not You take true. one index finger and you inch it close to your mouth. We should do Coney Fridays where we go to Sonic and just get the foot-long Coney's. Dave holds the hot dog up to his mouth and just pushes the, <laughs> the hot dog into his mouth and leaves the bun. That's kind of a good move. It keeps your hand clean at least. <laughs> just, just a pro, just it's an, a germaphobe a thing. Protein injection. You, you guys can't make fun of me. It's a germaphobe thing. Do you guys eat anything weird? Like, Have you ever been called out for having like a weird food thing? Yeah, all the time. Mm, I don't think so. I think I do either. I'm a pretty boring food guy, I think. Like, there's some people that like hold their forks like cavemen and stuff. I'll do that sometimes if I'm alone. What? At the crib. Really? Yeah, if no one's watching. You're just cavemaning that? Oh, yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll get dirty with it. You're putting the fork down the middle of that that hand? Maybe. I don't know. What's this? What's like the, the, the finishing school that they send people to? And that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what Dylan called college. <laughs> 
Come on, dude. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I could have used one of those classes on like what which uh, fork to use, like which what, plates which. What to do when you're done? Like put your fork at the back of the plate. Okay, here you're not you're not supposed to just like push the push the plate forward. Here's or a question: just Hold up your debit card till the waiter sees you. Hey, a great a John snap. due to PGP column when he he ranked the ways to ask for a check. That that is great it was, content. It was good content. Uh. What when you guys are go so obviously there's different kinds of forks and spoons you know there's salad forks versus dinner forks yeah are you strictly a, a dinner fork person what do you mean like I'm more of a oh, lunch oh, fork guy we at a restaurant or we at home like, at home mean? like when you're at home and you just made a meal oh yeah you might have, let's say you microwave some salmon and you need a fork a meal of food you, you go into your drawer do you pull out the big fork or do you, are you a small fork person because Ooh, it, it I'm, depends oh, what I'm eating I'm exclusively small fork so, depends what I'm eating. I'm about to out my family. We only have one fork. We have one type of fork, the you, large fork. You share one fork? Actually, yeah, we, not only does it depend on what I'm eating, it depends on how many clean ones we have of each variety. If we have seven big forks left and only two small ones and I want a small one, I might go big just to even it out in the drawer. No. If I can get away with on spoons, I'm pivoting a little bit to spoons. That's fine. If I can get away with the tiny spoon, I always will. Just because I like to save the big ones because of real estate and the dishwasher. Well, dude, and if you have you ever eaten like yogurt with a big spoon, the, oh, that's the, trash. the bites are simply too big. That's trash. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm pouring like a, a nice like snack bowl of cereal or something um, and I, I'm not eating very much to give me the illusion that I'm eating more than I am, I go with a smaller spoon. So for that reason, so wow. I fin it takes me longer to eat it. That might be one thing that I do that I didn't realize was weird. I make hefty bowls of cereal. The first time Sally saw me make a bowl of cereal, she was just like, what are you doing? That's half the box. I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. Cereal's great. I love cereal. We've got some at the crib right now. we got some Honey Nut Cheerios so and some, some milk just sitting there. It's honey great. Nut Cheerios are goaded. Dude, oh it's, it's just incredible. The Rhodes, incredible. Man, the Rhodes Man likes snacking on the Honey Nut Cheerios. Chris hasn't gotten there yet. He just holds the Cheerios in his hand and puts a death grip on them. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. That one grip strength. Yeah, he does the Arthur meme, them. but with Cheerios. He put that death grip on my sunglasses the other day, by the way. He ain't afraid, dog. I was not okay with it. He ain't afraid. He almost got these these hands. He, he dude, he knows his dad's got good hands. I like the amount of touchdown catches that I have where I can't get the ball off my hand, it's crazy. Really? Yeah, you have it a just lot of sticks to him. Yeah, touchdown I catch touchdowns. Selling? He's a real red zone threat. I'm a deep threat. You're not. You're a minor threat. Pay no mind. You're not burning anybody deep, dude. So over Dylan's head. It's over till it's done. God. Uh, so what's the verdict? Is a hot dog a sandwich? God damn it's it. not. It never will be. That's a good segment. How many how many podcasts there, get started? How many podcasts get started where the first episode features the question is a hot dog a sandwich? How many dudes out there are like, dude? Dude, like we could argue that for like 10 minutes. I will go get breakfast with you after this. I've you will? That, yeah. Let's fucking go, dude. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. God, it's no longer man. breakfast, guys. Just, my metabo is just crazy just right now. Just friendship redemption from Davey over there, man. No, I really no, no, appreciate that. No, no, This is going to be purely platonic. Well, yeah. We're not gonna hook, I don't plan on hooking up with you. Also business platonic. Okay. Can we get some official biz out of the way? Yeah. Yesterday, Randy took to Patreon and he hosted a game show that featured us three answering questions listening to clips and trying to identify them. Maybe some 90s songs, Dylan, that you're really familiar with. Uh, it was an absolute blast. I was giggling the entire time. We went about 80 minutes. It was lit. Randy threw me one bone, which I missed, by the way, yeah. song-wise. <laughs> yeah. And threw Dave like seven bones. And, of course, he crushed all of them. Well, bones, bones are, are Dave's money. money, yeah. I know. I, I know Yeah, that. that's, that's how I get by. So um, I my family with the bones. You know, I'm oh, just bone, saying bone. it, you know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm complaining, I guess. You didn't even intro him. Go over to patreon.com slash circling back podcast. If you want to leave a voicemail for tomorrow's voicemail episodes, that uh, Friday voicemails that drop on Thursday, 888-618-4422. you going to intro me? Rate and review the podcast, please. We're almost 10 minutes. You got Before 10 minutes hit, we have 20 seconds left. Before that hits, please intro me. Ladies and gentlemen, the finishing school... Cum laude, the finishing school graduate, goal. Dylan Shivery. Wow, just, just in the nick of time. Hey, man, happy to be here. Is it true really that you're cum laude? <laughs> they need to change that Latin or whatever. Well, not everyone who uh, 
who hears that word immediately goes dirty with it, Dave. No, but most people do. Most people. Most do. people do. Have you ever been? They assume that if you get if you reach that status, cum laude, they assume that you're mature enough to not laugh at it. Yeah, we we were not cum laude. Your boy cum could not laude. be less cum laude. What's the other one? Summa, summa cum laude. It's like extra. Summa, 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 tuma tires, and they got to be rug flat. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I think that's a Manny Fresh line. Yeah. I don't know who that is. That's swag. You don't know who Manny Fresh is? No. Does anybody? I mean, it sounds familiar. Jason is so disappointed in me when I don't know shit. Like, it I'm, sounds familiar. I just but want like, you to understand me. You you know obscure music and musicians, and I just I'm just not on the same wave as the you. Mu man. Music is life. The rest is just details. I love music. I just don't like study it. I do, do study it. I've, I've achieved cum laude in music. I know. You're summa cum laude. It's about, about, to, be, it's about to be March, which means I have to stop listening to what I want to listen to on Spotify and start curating my rap. Yes, oh, exactly. It's a bummer. Dude, uh, the kids' music is going to really throw off my Spotify rap. Oh, I don't I don't even touch the kids' music on Spotify. Yeah, but you get a, a hard pass for that. That's just cute shit. Yeah, yeah. but I know. But I yeah, but your end of the year's playlist is going to suck. If yeah, like you get exactly Coco right. Melon in part of your playlist or something, I don't even know that's what... If they have music. This morning I listened to the That's full Baby Shark song for the first time, and not just the part that says Baby Shark. Do, do, they do, go do, on do. for the entire family. There's a grandma shark. I'm going to tell Fritz that. that you can only listen to to Baby Shark at parties. Is there a zaddy shark? No, there's not a zaddy shark. It's it's oh, about a family, not about weird. a hot shark guy. Okay, that's weird. It's not about Greg Norman. More on him later. I get that. The original the shark. shark. Let's hear from our friends at Bird Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Always a great day to put some bird dogs on, whether they're gym shorts, khaki shorts with a built in silky soft inner liner that never rides up. You know what these things are. We keep those Tell things us. on them. They cake Dylan up like no other. They keep me fresh on the golf course and in the restaurant scene. They, the what do they do for you? Scene. What do they what do, do for you, dog? Tour? There's, yeah. there's restaurant scene pants. <laughs> yeah. What do you. McGuire Mormon DeFreeze. <laughs> restaurant scene? Yeah. What are you doing, dog? Dude, when I'm trying to, like, when I get out of the Uber X, like, the paparazzi is just like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, bird dogs, baby. You just start howling at them? Yeah. Bird dogs. Yeah. Hoo, hoo, like, hoo. get out of my way, paparazzi. Hoo, hoo. I mean, they're just different these days. They have a fantastic liner. And I'm usually not a liner boy when it comes to these shorts and pants. But they have fantastic comfortable liners i love them line them dine them then what hop on the bike and ride them the bike that is well right, you can you can wear these on the bike too that's true i, I have ridden uh the peloton will's peloton in them what did, what was the damage on that on will's peloton you have to yeah. ask him i don't know they're like eighteen hundred dollars about oh damn <laughs> the, they're not doing well no, no. i walked by their pellet the peloton store at the mall and like kind of looked in and i was like ooh. No, I kind of feel down. bad for them because like it's a pretty positive community they got going on. But you know, like maybe maybe people just like they they put on their bird dogs to go get on the Peloton. And they're like, wait, I'm kind of feeling frisky. I you think I'm gonna have, step out. You go to the discoteca. Yeah, a little too flirty to hop on the Peli. We got yeah. a new we got a new deal from them. Are you ready for this? What? Go to birddogs.com and a promo code circling and they'll throw in a free bird dogs beanie. Some people call them two. Wait, wait, what is a Are beanie? You I only me? know it is a toque. Yeah, it's a toque, Dave. That's birddogs.com, okay. promo code circling, and boom, a free bird dogs beanie slash toque with your pair of bird dogs. Stay warm and comfortable in your bird dogs, baby. Hopefully the oh. hopefully the very nice people at Bird Dogs are okay with us going off on Peloton in the middle of their ad read, but yeah, that's they, okay. they literally stole Lululemon's designer, I so I don't think they mind. Last they time should have just hired the designer away, like made them a, a, a great offer. Yeah. Well, the last time I read the copy for Bird Dogs, which I don't even read anymore because I'm the bad boy of ad reads, but it just said, say whatever the hell you want. It must be after 10 p.m. when they were writing that copy. <laughs> Let's talk okay. about Aaron Rodgers real quick. Everyone's favorite. Hey, that link that you put in there for the story. Did they delete work. it? They deleted it. Oh, why? Oh, maybe it's not bummer. true. No, that's a, that's kind of an important story. Yeah, that's a today. very important tweet to delete. Well, I, I can recap it because I remembered the whole uh, the whole cleanse in my head. I bet it still exists as a screenshot on here. Basically, you just vomit and shit for twelve days straight. That's the cleanse. It's a circling back diet. Right. Because uh, everybody in here has a stomach bug. 
I'm finding it. I don't care what anyone says. I'm looking says. for it on, on the I got it. I've got, I got it. it. I have it I right it. here. The Pancha Karma Cleanse. Pancha Karma. Pancha Karma. Pancha Karma Cleanse. Okay, can I read? Can yeah. I, you want to do it? You want me to do it? Do it. Just read it. Okay, it's a 12-day cleanse. The first three days, uh, it's ghee therapy. You consume butter until you evacuate on both ends. What does that mean exactly? Uh, you eat butter until you vomit in shit. Well, it's not butter. It's ghee. Ghee. What's the difference? You treat your body like an embassy in Ukraine. Just a kind of butter, right? Ghee. You guys like your ghee boys. No, Topical. I've only used ghee in uh, my optimized coffees. Salgo used to make a mean ghee coffee. I stick yeah. to the ghee code. Really? Give me a hit the, hit the laugh track. They used to quick. call me ghee carbono. <laughs> only true That's stars it? fans will like that. They laugh for half a second. I know. They, they stopped guy. laughing because they wanted to hear what Dave was saying. After the three Dave. days of yeah. ghee vomiting and shitting yourself, um, there's one day of therapeutic vomiting, which is well, more What was vomiting. the other yeah. one? What's Whenever the I, thing? When I vomit, I prefer I to do it therapeutically. This is therapeutic vomiting. So is that just where like you have like a, a like a real nice like um, nanny type person like just patting you on the back, holding hey, your hair? come on. You can do you it. You got it. They Let just treat go. you like a baby. They put Let you in a big go. diaper. So the first three days, you're just like getting everything out of your system, basically. And then on dope. day four, the therapeutic vomiting, I don't know what you're throwing up at that point, just ghee that's, I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, and then day five, one day of laxative therapy. Yeah, now we're talking. Which is um, anything you have left in your body, which I don't know what's left at that point. You. Uh, yeah, what is? I don't know. It's just like. I don't, want to, I don't want to speculate. It's just completely clearing out the cysts. This sounds the like this sounds like me before my colonoscopy. And then the next By three the way, days. That is not a fun time. The next three days out, is herb drops and nose. Now, Dylan, you've got a little experience with this. Three days of herb drops and nose. It doesn't say what kind of herb. It doesn't sound that bad. The only herb I know about is it kind of, I, I put in my bowl and Again, smoke. Dylan smokes weed, apparently. But as long as it's like real sticky stuff, or else I won't touch it. Don't you have a gravity bong? Dave's a stems only guy. He, he just smokes mid. Correct. Yeah. I don't like to get too high. I just like to inflame my lungs. I don't do a gravity bong because it doesn't hit hard enough for me. Stop. You hear me? Okay. Last time we were smoking a joint together, you asked me to shotgun you. And then it says um, numerous enema days. Yeah. You got to mix in some enema days. Numerous. Numerous. Because uh, I don't know why. Because you've been shitting and vomiting for a week. Uh, you know. What, David? Say it, man. I mean, after his vaccine takes, you know, there was a time where Aaron Rodgers was the enema of the state. Wow. What's his age again? How does he get that? And I, I made a much better joke, and I got a little, a little chuckle out of these women. Next thing you know, Aaron's just gonna say aliens exist. He's doing, he's doing like more pop punk references, and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it's just it. There's all Blink One Eight Two references, dude. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, they stink. That's why. He's Tom DeLost right now. And then the <laughs> last, the last stage. That's, yes. not, that's pretty good. Thank you. That's hey. pretty good. Hey. Why'd you just do the suck it? You just got suck it. Yeah. Uh, the last stage of his uh, the uh, Panchakarma cleanse is yoga and meditation. Seems very reasonable. That's normal. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I, do you want my official take? I don't think he did any of this. <laughs> Which may be why that tweet has uh, been deleted. Like, I, I just think that I think he's one of these people now that just wants to seem cool and different and progressive. But in reality, he probably just sat at home texting with Shailene while she was like, fuck you. Did they, they broke up in the middle of this cleanse. You're telling me that when he's trying to, like, he, he got out of this cleanse feeling intense gratitude, but while all this was happening, he also broke up with his girlfriend? No. It just didn't happen like that. Well, they had the the uh, political disagreement, right? Okay. Someone, one of them said, I forgot who it was, several weeks ago, a month ago maybe, that uh, we just agreed to disagree on uh, politics, which is... He's a big convoy guy. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what might be a hot button issue that could come between them. But this is, I put weird emphasis. on You that. put a I lot of emphasis to. on. Come. I don't know why I did that. Can I read you what I, what Panchakarma treatment is like? Per like, what's the point of it? Yeah, it's a method of cleansing the body of all the unwanted waste after lubricating it. So it says here. So he lubricated so the his body. 
the, the gi is just to lube everything up. Like, oh. hey, just it's just turning it into Hurricane Harbor in there. I it's need like a, a, I need it's like a water what, slide. Exactly. It's the Der Stuka inside your vitals. I need to know what gi really is and like how, like what what's different. <laughs> He, Aaron Rodgers has just become the most try-hard human being ever, and it, it's does he I, exist solely to troll? Like, it's just terrible. And <laughs> okay. like he posted this long Instagram post about how he's like about how thankful he is. He shouts out Shailene, who just you know is is on to bigger and better things. And like, ooh, who's she been linked with? I don't know. Have you checked Dumois? I'm gonna get some tea. Check Dumois. Okay, so Guy, since you guys clearly don't know what it is that you've been eating. Um, ghee is clarified butter, aka butter that has been simmered and strained to remove all water. So you can take it for your allergies as well. Wait, why? Uh, a reference to Clara, as in Claritin. Look, I don't know, man. I mean, that was a stretch. Doing? I'm, I'm, what are you doing? I'm volume shooting. I'm listening for the laugh. I'm trying to get uh, people to. I want people to ask for me to be removed from the a, show. Basically, a higher concentrated butter, right? I've never. I don't think water. I've ever actually acquired ghee for myself. I've He's only a big had ghee boy. Well, no, I've only had. You got to be place. careful, man. It's like fourteen dollars a fucking thing. It's crazy. That's a lot for butter. I'm I, told, out of I ghee. think I told Sally, like, "Hey, we're done with ghee. This you know what? We're we're financially sinking. I'm going to stick to butter, honestly. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with some butter." Carry gold unsalted. Let's ride. Put butter in my coffee. There man. are two different places in Austin that offer the uh, Pancha Karma cleanse. What are they called? Should we go? Uh, Nar Narayana Ayurveda Academy, for sure. <laughs> and the Rosewood Acupuncture and Ayurveda LLC. Okay, it's a limited liability company. I'm Can we out. take twelve days off and do this? I've been trying. I've been trying to get the whole squad to do like a month long sabbatical. Not together, just we all go do our own thing. Like, why don't? Why doesn't he just do ayahuasca like, like a fucking like a cool person? person? Yeah, like Morgan Hoffman. Go do an ayahuasca ceremony. You get the same thing. Well, like, it seems you like get the dope, what, you get the no. Dope there's no hallucinating in this one. I bet there's a point when you're evacuating from both ends that you hallucinate a little bit. It's the medical staff. I guess it doesn't matter because he's not going to be a Green Bay Packer anymore. But like the medical staff of whatever team he's about to join is just like, dude, why are you doing this to us? Just stop. Are you breaking news? He's going to look all emaciated and shit going. He back. already, he, he looks already like doesn't shit. look great. Fuck him. He look no, not only it doesn't not look great. He looks like shit. It's because he refuses. <laughs> he refuses to go into great clips hair. and get in, uh, get the free neck trim. Just. Just dude, clean up the dude, neck. Did you but see dude, the video of him accepting his MVP award the other night? No. He looked like absolute hell. His, his hair, hair looks like somebody who, who doesn't realize he, he, that he. shampoo and conditioner are two different things, and he ran out of shampoo, and he's just been using conditioner for like two months. It's so... It's, it's so greasy. It's like sh perfectly straight. It's gr just gross. It is gross. He looks like hell. I I'm out on Aaron Rodgers. He stinks. <laughs> he does a good football, though. He's a gift. He's a gift thrower of the football. <laughs> Damn, dude, you got just people coming at your neck right now, don't me even meming show, you don't into show oblivion. Him that one. Don't show them which that one, one did I miss? Yeah, I don't, don't know. That one. He's you're, you're playing scared right now. Oh come on! <laughs> the the one that was posted less than a minute ago. Yeah, you want to read it for the people it at home? It says Bay runs my life. Damn, Jeez. that's not true. I run my life. Does Bay rule everything around you? Didn't she throw out your? Uh, she polos? is. She is the queen of the castle. She threw yeah. out your khaki shorts. Is everyone pouring some out for Dylan's polos she, from 2002? She threw out more than just my polos. <laughs> we got rid of a, she did a she did a cleanse. Since we so this was like the second round of the the closet cleanse. Yeah, the Pancha Karma co uh, closet cleanse. The first round, she got rid of like half of my clothing. This was like 15. percent That that feel good though. I mean, stuff that I don't wear. It needed to happen. But there's some of some of it was like I might wear this at one point. And she was like, mm, "You're not." Didn't you say that you could have donated it, but instead you just threw it away? I did donate it. I heard Goodwill. it in a trash can. Goodwill. I heard you set it on fire in your backyard. Goodwill. Roasted some hot dogs over it. Like that's totally reckless. I I agree. That's what I thought when you did it. I was like, he doesn't even have turf out there. Like he could set his entire lawn on fire. Uh, I need to get the name of the trees that line your fence. Because I'm, I want to add some trees to my backyard, and this is probably off podcast uh, conversation, are, but I just am very curious because they look good. I have an answer for you. They okay. are magnolia trees. Oh, that must be nice. You should just steal them. Please don't steal my trees. You come out there, and I'm just. <laughs> that was a steal magnolias joke. Please don't oh, steal. Them. Okay. Oh, I got it. We are just we are forcing references today. And it's good, my Will. fault. That was a good one. Mine wasn't. I'll acknowledge it. No, you've had some good ones though. I'm batting about five hundred today.
No, your backyard. I do like your backyard. I like those trees. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate you, man. And the way your grass has come out of its dormant stage is just really impressive. I noticed that. Did you lay down any nitrogen or? Whatever comes in that Sunday stuff. Sponsor, Sunday. Right, I'm familiar. Well, how many magnolia trees do you have? I think there are five back there. Damn. Six, five or six? What, like, what's the damage on so, like, oh, something like that? Uh, just... they, were, they were there when the house was purchased, so I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't actually acquire so them. So it was lumped into the, the cost of the house? Yeah. Remember how that tree fell on my condenser? Yeah, the it condensed the whole thing. They brought out they they condented it. Um, seriously though, the guy took the rest of the tree out this morning, and so now I'm treeless right there. And I'm I'm very scared to go home and see the no tree there. It's kind of sad. Yeah, when I get home and there's no tree, I'm devastated. He's talking about smoking weed. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a welcome to Wilmon's button. I got I got a little too cocky on the board. I'm going to take a step back for a few minutes. <laughs> Have you uh, peeped the new board? I'm scared of it, honestly. I mean, Randy does still uh, own about 60% of the real estate storage, but there's some new additions to the board I think people are really into. I don't even know how to operate that damn thing. It's one of the easiest things you could do. What's some... Put some tracks on there for me, dog. Don't worry about it, dude. You have the Seinfeld one. Hit it for me. Have you ever sat at the board and done a pod? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. I kept it very simple. I just hit the record and just the record button. That was it. <laughs> Can I talk about something real <laughs> Dumb quick? It down. You didn't really, trick it up. You didn't spooky nice. season it. No. I did something last night that I'm not proud of. You guys ready for this? Oh shit! What'd you do? Gee? I didn't do any gee. Lubed up your ends or go. Do you evacuate from both ends? No. I did something last night that I'm not proud of. I've never done this before, and it was kind of a shot in the dark, and, and I'll never do it again based on how the results panned out. But last night I did something depressing. I was trying to watch a movie last night, and the only place you could watch it for free was on Showtime. And I hit up, I hit up the entire squad, uh, you know, the three of us in here, Intern Klein, Big Game Brett, and I was like, "Anyone got a Showtime link for me? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to ride with this." And I thought, you know what, we're all, we're all pretty tight. We should hit up hashtag Chad. And guess what? No, he's too busy coming for our next. Wasn't he too busy having a baby last night? Today. Oh, he missed. I think it's uh, gonna be two twenty two twenty two. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I'm st even though he he went after us like that, I'm still happy for him. Well, not only I, I didn't get responses from two people, and then the two responses I did get from the two people sitting next to me right now. I we're not pretty. Late. I yeah. responded very late. Yeah, I didn't even want to watch the movie at that point. I, I I realized that I was too late. I almost didn't say anything, but I didn't want to leave you hanging. You know, it's cool, dude. I just watched a little Love Is Blind. Are like, you, are you is doing that a segment? So because you know a listener is going to hit you with the Showtime. No, to be honest, I don't. Will. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I would. I wouldn't feel bad muddying the waters of one of your cues, but I would feel. I'd feel weird doing that with somebody else's cue. I want to talk Love Is Blind with you at some point. I, we talked about it yesterday for like ten yeah. minutes. I know, but like. On the pod. I mean, it's just the most ridiculous show of all time. Yeah. The the premise of it is stupid. Yeah. The timeline of it is the most jarring thing I've ever witnessed. Yep. And I don't like it, and I will not be finishing it. Nope. Can you not do a free trial of Showtime? You can, but you know how those free trials be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Check out Truebill. Like, they they turn from free to not free. That's yeah. The thing about it's it. a seven-day free trial, and as someone who's... I'm just trying to watch Slow West. You need to watch the uh, Oliver Stone JFK doc on there. I can't because I don't have it. So, and I pay for too many streaming services at this point. Also, what in the what percent of streaming services that you are logged into do you pay for versus you leech off of somebody else? Because I think my ratio is too high. I think we only leech off one. Now, in the past, I used to have a listener's Dis Disney Plus, <laughs> like back when Disney Plus first started. But now we we have our own. I might have to take back my New York Times uh, subscription that I gave to you. Allocate you, that somewhere can else. Can you do that? I don't know. How, uh, I, I might just have to cancel my own account. Oh, man. Get you canceled. Just, uh, murder Suey. <laughs> yeah. Unnecessary. I just can't have Dave reading free articles from the New York Why? Times. Why? I, I used it on the pod Monday. All I'm saying is I was hoping for a little bit better performance last night from y'all. Mine is linked. I mean, what do you want me to do? Like start an account just to give you a password? That would have been nice. I a real friend. If I had one, I would have given it to you, dog. I think mine is through Amazon. And I think my Amazon's through my dad's. And I think I pay my dad. 
<laughs> what? It's very confusing. I don't know. I may not even pay. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I, I got the text. I mean, speaking of, you know, leashing off of our parents, I did get the text this morning that said, Will, where, what's your status of getting off the family plan? I need you off by Saturday. Rough. Damn. Rough. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got offers out there from listeners asking if I want to join their family plan. I, my, Sally's trying to get me to join her family plan. Just go to Just a Verizon store and make it happen, dog. Verizon. I'm an AT&T guy through and through. Verizon is superior. Will's got multiple people just rushing him. Like, dude, get in this family plan. You're just getting wine and dine. It's no one wants you in their family Everyone's plan. scared of my data, though. I'm the data king. Dude, I'm an unlimited data guy. Can they Everybody see what that. you're watching? I don't know. Like, I can see what you order from Uber Eats. I always operated when I was a kid, when I was on my Nokia. <laughs> I, th I always thought that my parents would be able to see what my text said. So I was always a little, I was always a little gun shy on the texts. Because back in the day, like, they would send you a full report of, like, every text that you sent with timestamps. Do you remember that? I mean, you were probably sending those out by hand. Did it say what the text was? I think you could get that if you really wanted no, to. I think it yeah, was just like no, you could the text at this time to this. You could number. get that report if you wanted it. I don't think that exists anymore. But at one point, you could get actual like transcripts. They were disjointed. It wasn't like conversations. It was it was in sequential order of Weird. text that you sent. So if you were talking to numerous people at once, that's too invasive. A little bit, yeah. But maybe maybe like fifteen year old me really didn't need a cell phone at that point. I was just texting babes and middle snake. schoolers have phones in school like everybody's got a phone man part of me wants to like wait a long time before parks has a phone to give them access to the internet the other half of me wants to like be able to text them whenever i want that'd be so lit if i was like dude how's like how's school going today you know a lot of texts awesome. school, problem dude. is you can like that is a completely valid thing to want to like you know oh you don't need a phone at this age you can be going out and playing stickball with the boys or whatever um He's can't you can't have him missing out on group text and stuff. It's like part of it's part of like modern day socializing. And you like, always get him a prime code. No, kids don't operate like that these days, all. Dave. They don't have group text, man. They're all on Snapchat What's doing that, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. What's What's that? I'm sure there are ways to restrict like internet access on those phones, but there is. Also don't want to be like one of those parents, you know. Sally does it for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And she's out of town. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She she makes sure that she puts on on those limits. <laughs> you guys hear that? Yeah. What is? Oh it? shit! Is that a lawnmower? No, it's the new Manscaped buzzer. Is that really what it sounds like? <laughs> Support for circling back is brought to you by our friends over at Manscaped, the leaders in male grooming. Their fourth generation performance package absolutely changed the grooming game, along with their refined body wash to round out your hygiene routine. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with their shower time routine by going to Manscaped.com. For 20% off plus free shipping with the code STEAM. Manscaped Day at the house is a, is a fun day for me. Oh, uh, it's, it, yeah. Just get all. Do you do it feeling. outside? Get all smooth like a, like a baby whale? Um, I, I don't, I don't do the downstairs outside, no. It's, oh, it's yeah. actually a good idea. Yeah. Well, like sort yeah, of brush fires everywhere. Are you, what day or before Vegas are you going to? You know, ooh, uh, probably day before. Let's get real. Day, before. day before, no, I like to let it grow in a little bit, get a little shadow. A little, in case you get a little bumpage, I got you. Got to give it a few. Yeah, days. you got to be careful day before because oh, if, if you put out, if you put out a performance polo like the day after, you have you have yeah. the, you run the risk of having oh. a little stubble. See, action. I, I don't yeah, go, nipples. I don't go that low with it. Oh please, I, I go length. low. I like the, my chest hair to be a little longer than that. I like, I like to, a little something there for it to grab onto. You know, no, call me Will John because I get low. Who are you talking to? You bitch. Okay. I like these guys so much that before I even got this package in the mail, I just straight up bought a nose hair trimmer from them on Amazon.com. Oh, their nose hair trimmer is fantastic. In hindsight, maybe I should have just used our code, but I, I, I was just very eager to get it as soon as humanly possible. And I, was, I just went on Amazon.com. I was so happy to get that because I, before, you know, I was just straight up plucking nose hairs. It's quite painful. Uh, that'll, Ooh, make your, that, that'll make your tears start. That's not good for, the, in, the, for your not. nose, It's man. actually a defense mechanism for your body. A lot of people don't know that. Have you guys smelled this new Manscaped Refined Body Wash? Because fellas, the ladies love this signature scent. Yeah, they do. Call me LL Cool J. Why? Why? Because okay. ladies love my cool J. <laughs> like when you're playing basketball? Yeah. And they get a whip of me when I'm running down the court. <laughs> are they playing as well? Mm -hmm. No, they're on. The what do you do with your free time? They're like, well, <laughs> well, we love you. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Ooh wee. Yeah, you do. 
Okay, let's get back to the read. I Keep think. the grooming game going with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside the package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, goaded, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, which nobody is doing, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. Tell me that is not an absolutely souped up package right there. You're not going to believe how good my balls smell in Vegas. Let me see them. I'll get in a, Vegas. I'll oh. get a whiff. Yeah, go ahead and stand up. I'll be loading up on that before the golf course. Are you, do you guys know that the Weed Whacker nose trimmer is waterproof and uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered by 360 degree rotary dual blade systems? Are you kidding me? That's some advanced shit right there. Dude, they're not messing around. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxers and the shed travel bag so you can bring the comfort and boxers to another level. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code STEAM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code STEAM at manscaped.com. Keep your balls trimmed, fresh, and clean with Manscaped. Let's talk about Leonardo DiCaprio for a moment. Ooh, do you get some tea? What's Leo up to? I don't know if it's tea per se, but he's he kind of he's kind of been in the news a little bit. Does he have a new 19-year-old girlfriend? Uh, probably, no, but that's not what we're like talking 22. about. He's recently invested in a new eco-friendly champagne, and whenever somebody that's dope does something with... Champagne. There you go. Whenever someone does something dope with champagne or like just liquor in general, I usually hop on it. Like when Clooney started Casamigos, it was like, yeah, put that in my mouth. Now Leo's in charge of some eco-friendly champagne. I can't see us popping any other bottles in Vegas outside of these. Can Is this I... going to be like, have like the Leo price tag on it? It's going to be unaffordable for the common folk. One of those. Or is it like a real, like every person champagne? Champagne. I don't know. Can I, I, can I pull back the point. curtain and admit something? What? I don't really like Casamigos anymore. Why? I don't know. It just got to the point where I like other tequilas better that are cheaper. I mean, I I got pretty Nothing much I got pretty much shamed off the face of the earth when we were in Mexico and somebody I actually didn't even bring up Casamigos, but the the bartender who was doing the tequila tasting was like, "Stop drinking any celebrity tequilas ever." Honestly, that's probably pretty valid. They're like they're shitty quality. They're taking they're cutting corners left and right. Have Stop had, doing it. You had the Kendall Jenner tequila. Fuck no. She's getting sued. Fuck no. Because of the labeling, right? Because yeah, from uh, tequila five one two. Yeah, is that what it's called? No. Yeah. Five one two. Yeah, which right. is an awesome tequila. Yeah, they basic. It's very very similar branding, packaging. It's almost identical. Yeah, identical. Yeah, I get I get why. Uh, <laughs> Why they minute. might be suing. Dylan, yeah. how much do you think a bottle of this costs? Ooh, I'm going to say $120. $72. Okay. The Brut Rosé is about $89. Well, you know your boy is a real big rosé guy. Love it. From protecting biodiversity on its land to using 100% renewable electricity, Maison Talmont is determined to radically lower its environmental footprint. I don't like this character. Leo's proud to join as an investor of Champagne Talmont. I don't like page six, Will. Dude. <laughs> I hate that I'm going to end up buying some of this. Yeah, you are. Like, I'm 100% going to buy some of this. I mean, if it's, if it's bomb, I'll try it. The real reason I wanted to bring up Leo has nothing to do with his actual champagne. It's a, it's a news story that we forgot to do last week, which was that Tobey Maguire went out for a night with Leonardo DiCaprio, and Leo was wingmanning him, which we'll get to in a second. And he, he came up empty-handed. What if your wingman is Leo and you don't and you go home alone that night? Can you, I'm not kidding. Like this is a completely serious question. If you're picking a famous person to wingman you, can, would you pick anybody else over Leo? He might be number one wingman status. I would absolutely. There's a number of people on who I'll this, refute all of them. This is I would go for somebody who is not as handsome but has more personality. I'm going like Vince Vaughn or something. No, too old. He's gonna carry a conversation. So if you if you're bombing over there, he's gonna save it. I don't know. I don't know what you think. Kinda... Leo can't save a conversation. He's just too hot. No, but he's not that. He's, he's, he's not. He, dude, that he's, hot. not he's getting. He's kind of getting into like like when he, he's hot when he goes to award shows. When he's chilling, doing nothing, he's not a hot guy. Young, young, thin Leo was an absolute weapon. He's he's not young, thin Leo anymore. And that's just facts, unfortunately. This says Toby and Leo, Leo came to the club together for a boys night out. A source tells page six. It was very clear that Toby was on the prowl and that Leo was his wingman. Leo introduced Toby to three different blondes, but it seems even starring in the latest Spider-Man installment doesn't attract the ladies. Even with Leo's help, Toby couldn't land a girl. The source continued. It's, None of them seemed in interested when introduced. You never want you never want page six to, to have this statement about you. It was very clear he was on the prowl. Yeah. 
It's like, oh, he was just hella horny. Yeah, huh? he was trying to get laid. <laughs> what was he doing? There's no way. Like he, Toby McGuire, while he may not be the most relevant currently, is a former A-list actor. You got to be careful though if your wingman is more desirable than you are, because if the young lady that's, might be like, "That's what I I'm want, saying." I that's why you go wingman. Vince Vaughn. No, oh. can't go Vince Vaughn. You Why? can't even get a word can, in with dude, Vince Vaughn. You can quote Wedding Crashers and stuff. And people think it's hilarious. Like you, you, your entire bit the entire time that Vince Vaughn is wingmaning yes. for you is that you're you're talking like Owen Wilson. You just tell him to lock it up, and wow. they're like, "Oh, that's pretty funny. You've <laughs> seen that movie as well." This is the guy from the movie. That's crazy. We're talking to him. You're like walking to the bar with some girl that Vince just introduced you to, and you're like, "Vince, can I get you a drink?" He's like, "No, I think I'm good." And you're like, oh, pff, "Rule number seventy six, dude." <laughs> <laughs> Those guys wrote the rule book, man. Uh-huh. So sick. That was, so dude, sick. that was like basically our life. Dude. Crazy, man. Dude, crazy. We were our just crashing weddings left and right. I, I feel like it's kind of a shame that like Tobey Maguire is at the... Like if you're starring in any new Spider-Man film, aren't you kind of assuming that like you're just going to absolutely clean up when you're going out with Leo? This feels like just an unnecessary hit piece. It's like it, what did, who did he piss off to where they're like, all right, we're about to body bag Tobey Maguire. What are the chances this source... Is someone that Toby Maguire shut down because they were clearly at the club. It's like an like one of his ex like assistants, who he was like a dick to. Like he he wasn't even at this club. They just they just made up. They just had old photos that they just sent somewhere, and they were like, "Yeah, he struck out." Got him. Who's That's, the Who's the source on on this story? Don't worry about it, dude. So how do you know you all this happened? Source, you know dude. how do you know? Well, there all are this photos. Happened? There are photos of them together. At yeah, but club. okay, I'm not I'm not doubting they were together, but you don't know like what happened. It said he was that. clearly on the prowl. <laughs> like, what does that mean? He was going from like from young lady to young lady, just like I, spitting game. When I see clearly on the prowl, I I read that as clearly on cocaine. Yeah, like he was just hopping table to table, like, hey, what's going on over here? Hey, what's up? What's up? Any right. guesses on how I old Leo's w. current girlfriend is? Camilla Camilla Marone, twenty three. Ooh, yeah, 24. I mean, it's around there. Yeah, right? 24. Okay. 24. Hmm. Ding, ding, ding. Any thoughts on that? Too young for me. How old are you? 38. In my mid to early 30s. My mid 30s. Mm. If, if, Sa- oh, let's no, just man. hypothetically say like Sally leaves me for like some, let's say like Toby McGuire marries Sally. Which you couldn't he's blame her. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, fine. you know what? I, no, he's a Spider-Man guy. Like, he's A-list yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right. Let's say that she goes and marries him and I have to get on Hinge. Oh, you're talking age range? You're 35, is that right? I'm 35. Okay. Like, what's my age range? I think you go I think you go down 10 years. You start at 25. 25? And that's a stretch. I haven't talked to a 25-year-old woman in years. Right. Since I, like, maybe, maybe 10 I mean, years. That's the bottom, though. Like, it goes up. But how high are you going? I think I'm going high. Like, are you, you going to touch uh, 40? Yeah. Really? Oh, I think so. I think so. If I'm going to go 10 down, like, I think I think I just have to go 10 up. Cast a wide net. 25 to, to 45. That. It doesn't have to be perfect. Why, dude? We're in Austin. Like, what if what if I get, like, how old is, uh, what's your face? Kendra Scott. Yeah, how old's Kendra Scott? Why? Me and Tom can be Eskimo a, bros. So she's the Austin girl boss? Are you trying to... And I know how you feel about a girl boss. You hate to see him win. I mean, yeah, she does have like a $14 million mansion down the street. She's doing okay, yeah. Where does she live? Uh, T-Town? Yeah, like if you keep going down where I live, you eventually hit it. I hate that I called it T-Town. Yeah. It sucked. Do, can you can you do Can you do a, a Mick Jagger version of asking? <laughs> Is she living in <laughs> T-Town? <laughs> uh, Emma Stone's moving to T-Town. So that's who I was thinking of, too. Like... W- can I get on like Raya or whatever and match with Emma Stone? Maybe. Is Raya real? Is that a thing? Maybe I shouldn't be having this conversation on our literal two year anniversary. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You were the first. You guys, you guys, <laughs> hypothetical. Are y'all of doing course. dinner anywhere? TBD. Any, any like ideas of where you might go? Yeah, we're thinking about doing a nice little Italian John. Really? What's that going to? Yeah. Set you back. I don't know. I mean, when you think about it, like each, one, each entree is like about twenty four dollars. I'm sure we'll get a nice bottle of wine, maybe like in the sixty dollar range. So I, we'll probably spend a couple hundred dollars. Eco friendly? Only eco friendly. Yeah, it's Damont. Which one? Which Chateau Damont. Which, which Italian, John? Sammy's. Okay. Yeah, it was like literally the only thing that had a reservation. Fazoli's? So we heard just, of Fazoli's. 
if you say anything negative about it's their breadsticks, I will fight you. I've never I, been there. It's it's truly. It is at the bottom of all fast food ever. It's worse than Captain D's. No, it's not. It's worse than anything you've ever thought. No, Zoli's is not. It's so good. good. Like you know that the breadsticks are fire when they give them to you, and the bottom like bottom third of it is just absolutely drenched in butter. That drenched. sounds sick. Randy, Woo. stop chefs kissing. Yeah, Randy, Randy is loving this right now. Fazoli's talk? Are you kidding? Randy, we're doing our we're doing our weekly lunch at Fazoli's next week. Do it, please do. Don't come back. Hey, we got a happy hour. We got a company happy hour coming up. When? Oh shit, it's gonna be in Vegas. Oh no. I guess we're gonna do our happy hour in Vegas. So we bring one company card. Dylan, you bring one company card. No one else is allowed to bring a company card to Vegas. I wish Randy I was coming. I my flights on the company card. This is a company event in my estimation. That's true. We've gotten a lot of content out of it so far. I don't have anything else to say about Leo other than like, I if he wants well. to join us in Vegas to help wingman some of the single guys in Vegas, like he's more than welcome to do that. I wish him well on his future endeavor. I think we can put a stamp on that segment because we sent it. You know how else you can send things? Stamps.com. Time is money. Don't waste waste either. With repeated trips to the post office, you just hate to do that. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and focus on how to take your personal or your small business to the next level. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer, and it saves you money in the process so you can spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. Stamps.com saves you time, money, and stress because for more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses they even give you access to the post office and UPS shipping services that you need right from your computer. You can get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. 76%? You're giving this stuff away. Zoinks. That's crazy. Zoinks. Did you just zoinks them? I hit them with that zoinks. Okay. I mean, what can you say about stamps.com that hasn't already been said? It's such a straightforward, the, beautiful, easy process. Look, what says I, it all. What it boils down to is it saves you time and money on postage. So, like, what do you, what else? Do, that should be the entire ad read. I mean, honestly. going to going to the post office before was already a hassle, and now with this whole pandemic thing, like, it just made it even more difficult. Like, we just got to solve it. Whether you're an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and a standard printer, no special supplies or equipment. Dylan, you got it all. You're just living with that printer life. Yeah, I think so. And it prints. It print. Yeah. It prints the postage. You're my prince, David. Okay. I'm sorry. You're up and running in minutes and printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. Stop overpaying for shipping with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code circling back for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter circling back phil mickelson he really stepped in it huh what's our man doing i normally only like doing phil stories when they're you know talking about his coarse ethiopian coffee grinds grounds grounds uh this is a this is just a man imploding this is just a man flying directly into the sun okay um I've I haven't caught the whole story. I don't know the ins and outs of what he said or how he put his foot. No in his one mouth. else has really been talking about it, so I could see how you missed it. No, I know the story, but I don't know exactly what all he said. Can you, well, fill, in, he can you fill in the blanks? He apologized. For I know um, he said some negative things about the PGA tour. He said some negative things about the tour. He might have uh compared uh the guy who runs the tour to um uh, the Saudi Arabians killing a journalist, not only killing him, inviting uh, the journalist to the embassy and then dismembering him, uh, if you want to be specific, with a bone saw. Um, he might have, you know, made some comparisons and basically tried to create the rival runaway tour, um, you know, the with the Saudi backing. Apparently they had 17 or 20 players potentially rumored Bryson rumored to be a part of it. DJ, right? Uh, Kokrak, I think. Oh, Kokrak was all in. Of course, he said he's trying to make as much money in as little time as possible so he can retire and hang out with his kids. 
If out of everyone that that even dabbled in this, he's the only one who I have a shred of respect for because he's like, nah. I don't I'm, try, I'm trying to hang with my fam. I don't have a problem with saying well, that. What really tanked this was uh he a guy named Alan Shipnuck. You've probably or mm -hmm. read his work, follow yep. him on Twitter. He's a Sports Illustrated golf journalist and really good Twitter follow. He is writing a unauthorized biography of Phil. I think that might be in the name. And even though it is unauthorized, he still had conversations with Phil. And one of those conversations, which was on the record, despite what Phil said, uh, is when Phil said people are probably want, and I'm paraphrasing, but he's basically like, why would I get involved with, you know, he, what did he call them? Crazy fuckers. He's like, dude, these are some crazy fuckers, motherfuckers. Um, they execute gay people. Um, they killed Jamal Khashoggi. So why would I get involved? And so he's basically like pointing out the negatives and he's addressing it. And he's saying, because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to change the tour, like, uh, you know, change the way we play golf, change the tour. Yeah. There's some things he doesn't like with the tour, mainly I think media rights. Some people speculate that it's not just that maybe he's in financial trouble. He did sell his golf stream a few years back. A weird move for a guy who's worth almost half a billion. What's he? 400 million. I think. Something like that. A lot. Um, but that comes out. Shipnuck like releases that part of the of the book, of that conversation, and essentially that spooks everybody. Everybody's like, dude, that's this is what are you doing? This is horrible. And now now Phil issued that apology yesterday. He lost KPMG, which if if you think of like one sponsor of Phil, like you probably think of KPMG on yeah, advisor. That's definitely yeah. He lost them yesterday. I don't know if anybody else is going to follow suit. That was a Dorcat sponsor anyway, though. But you're not a fan of the... It's lame. <laughs> There's a lot of lame golf Like, sponsors. what if he gets a Hooters visor now? That's tight. Very... Or Twin Peaks. TPs. Should we called. Should we sponsor Phil? This shit's surprising coming Now's from Now's the Phil. time. Uh, to get in love. Right? It's like... I, it's kind of surprising. Like, well, the, the quote is obviously the jarring part. Like, that, that was the crazy part. But like in terms of, you know, I mean, Phil has a reputation for doing kind of scuzzy stuff once in a while. Yeah, he's not. So he's had this renaissance in his the latter part of his career, even even before he won the PGA at 50. People, you know, he, he got really good at social media. He was doing his videos. He was doing his fireside chats in the locker room. He was doing uh, the coffee bits. He was getting really into that. And uh but before that, like there were, you know, a lot of people didn't like Tiger back in the back in his prime. And a lot of people didn't like Phil because Phil's kind of a know it all. Like, I mean, I think he a lot of the players didn't like him. He was kind of known as an asshole. Um, so to a lot of people and you're finding out and like you see Justin Thomas commenting, you saw Rory's comments after Riviera, basically like, yeah, this is par for the course. Uh, it's a golf pun. I Rory's comment was funny because he essentially said like I'm rich and it's sick. Very cool. In the last 10 years I've gotten way more rich and it's not that much sicker. And like I I respect that he's anti Saudi tour, but like this is a very PGA tour problem to have being like, well I mean we already have so much money. It's like okay, I don't Yeah. That's great and all, but I, I still I mean I like that Rory's unfiltered though. He doesn't give a fuck. I like how he prefaced his comments when asked about it, like I don't want to kick him while he's down, but Yes, and then proceeded to just, just body blow after body blow. Ego, what do you say? Naive, um, narcissistic, egotistical. And, and, and he is, has since walked. I mean, he's walked back. His like, I am interested in joining the Saudi tour right now. Like all PGA now, right? He has walked it back, but not only just joining it, Phil. And allegedly two other players, people speculate, Bryson and, and DJ, we don't know that, I don't think. They literally had their lawyers draft the operating agreement for the tour, for that yeah. tour. Bryson so it reaffirmed be just, his, his PGA Tour stint. So yeah, you saw that a few status. days ago. Bryson came out, and Bryson's uh, wasn't as strong. It was more like, a at this moment, this is where I'm at. He, he said, he pretty much said, I play where the best players play. Currently the best players are playing on the PGA Tour. So if something else happened, if another domino dropped and right. people started going, I'm not sold that Bryson wouldn't go do that. Right. But Bryson was also the one who's getting offered, you know, the 
a hundred million dollar bag. So I, he's kind of in a different position than Coke rack or somebody else. His, his Phil's Instagram apology. I don't know if you haven't had a chance to read it. I would check it out. It's just, it's bizarre. It it says that Alan Shipnuck took those com, com, comments out of context, and he followed and up were, by he, saying, "Absolutely not." He said they were out of. He said they were off the record, which I don't think a lot of people understand how that works. They were. I don't think Alan Shipnuck would would just do that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a mess, and I mean the the worst part the PR of our hit for Phil's is is big. The worst part of this for me is reading everyone in the comments of every single thing. And there's just so many people like saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Like we, yeah, we know this is bad. Yeah. There's nobody who has a, another take. No, there's, there's one take to be had and we're just hearing it over and over. And I'm, I'm at the point where I'm about to mute the word Saudi. I will say. Screenshot it and show everyone, hey, I'm muting this. You should. That really drives it home for people. Dude, it's epic when people screenshot what they've muted. I'm wondering if this same energy <laughs> will be kept so... Everybody was united against uh, the Saudi Arabian government, you know, the the royal family. And, and will this like. Will this drip into like tournament sponsors, like if there's a, a company that's got, you know, some kind of sketchy financial crimes or, or maybe like a pollution, a polluter, like an oil and gas company that sponsors a tournament that like, oh, I don't know, maybe destroyed part of Ecuador, Chevron. Um, are people going to be like do it, keeping the same energy for those sponsors? Or is it just because it's the Saudi government, the Royal family? I don't know, but that's, I'm curious because it's, it is, it's, 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 it's interesting to see because everybody was on board with a rival golf league. I that would be cool. I have no issue with that. Yeah. But I guess you got to just get better backing, better backers. It's going to be a Dell match play. He doesn't, does he do Dell match play? No, he's not top 64. Is, is he not? I have no clue. I've never, I don't think he's ever been. Yeah, there. has I, he ever been out there? I, I don't ever recall having seen him there. Hey, we'll be out there. <gasps> More of that. Do we need to talk about this climber that got pummeled with snow, David? Yeah, I wanted to see where Phil's world ranking was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, I, Should just, we move on to this weekend and fun? No, no, no. By, okay. I want Dylan well, to then see figure this video. It out. I want Dylan to see this video in real time. He hasn't seen it. I want him to react. Randy. Where so, did you even find this? Uh, Drudge. I don't know. One of those oh, sites. No. Of so those there's a climber who's aggregators. got his ice picks. And as you know, we're and big filming this. We're big climber people here. It looks like a drone's out there of some sort, but it's hard to say. Um, oh my! But this God. guy's on the side of a cliff with his ice picks just absolutely stuck in some ice, and he's just getting an absolute avalanche of snow it, just smoking him in the face. It right looks now. like, a, you know, like a liquefied. I mean, it's got a waterfall. That's what it looks like. But it's just snow, dude. So having watched that climber doc that you recommended, like this is just terror. This is even more terrifying. Yeah, I mean it's. I, I don't know what's come over me in the last couple of years, but if there's a climbing documentary out there, I want to see it free. Like when we had the, we had a listener voicemail the other day that was kind of asking uh, if we could see something again and erase our memory of the first time we saw it. Free solo might be one of those oh things that gosh. I would put on that list because I want to see it again. But this guy is just getting absolutely drenched. Like he thought he was dead, right? Is he, yeah. Is he, um, is there a safety, like a rope or anything, what they call it? Is he tethered anywhere? He has to be tethered somewhere. But like, I think that if he came loose right now and fell, I think the concern here is that what he's tethered to would come loose. Yeah. And that he would just absolutely get dominated. Good call. So oh the guy gosh. posted this on Instagram and he survived, obviously, as he did post it. My question is, and why I brought it up here is, can we meme this? Yeah. Is it out of bounds to meme? Because I've... <laughs> What was the one you said earlier that Dylan, Dylan is the guy that's okay. got the ice picks in and then Son the rest God. is the Dirty Bill's bathroom? What are you doing? That's good. This is a co this is a cocaine thing? What is this, Will? No, Come I was on, talking man. about like the Christmas bar season when it's like got sn fake snow in there and stuff. I don't know why you would try to make in something the wildly inappropriate. Dirty bill? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that where they put all the decorations yeah. in the bathroom? Uh -huh. In the bathroom. Okay. I don't think I've ever gone to the bathroom at Dirty Bills. <laughs> Do people decorate their bathrooms for Christmas? Like maybe you put like a, a, a Christmas scented candle. Yeah, a Fraser fir candle. Yeah. Thank you. That's about it though. You don't put fake snow in there. Do you put Yuletide? 
What is that? Isn't that a thing? Yeah, I don't know what that is, though. There's a Yule log. That's what I was looking for. This fucking guy. Shut up. Doesn't know what a Yule log is. Oh, you, Yuletide is an archaic term for Christmas. Oh, I'm going to start using that exclusively. It's archaic, though. Merry Yuletide to you and yours. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I'm that's still steaming terrifying. On the, I'm still steaming on the Phil thing. I'm sorry. I Oh, by the way, it said... Phil stinks. World ranking number 42, so... So he's got the invitation. He said he's taking time off. He's not, he's not, he won't be there. He can't go to the Masters, right? Like, I mean, Masters? like he could, obviously. He'll absolutely go to the Masters. But it's Phil. Yes, does he sir. need to just, lay, how long does he need to lay low? No. Till the Masters. And that's April. He'll be fine. Till the Masters, he needs to lay low. Keep, keep it, keep things under wraps. Maybe do a couple Champions Tour events to, to better, keep the swing juice going. Better chance of playing the, playing the tournament, Tiger or Phil? Phil is playing Phil. the Masters. Phil. Phil is not skipping a Masters if he's alive. It's he knows he knows how much he has to gain by going to the Masters. He'll he wants there. to be on the big. He wants to be on the big, the big platform. The only one he's never won is the U.S. Open. So we'll, no, he won the U.S. Open. I thought, or was that the PGA recently? PGA. Yeah. <sighs> what confuses me about golf is all the, like the different governing bodies. Like the PGA Tour doesn't control a big portion of the tournaments out there. You know, so you can not be a member of the PGA Tour and still participate in the Masters, for example, and many other tournaments. I like probably the Hooters Tour. Probably shouldn't say this because we're about to, you know, be with the PGA Tour when it comes to doing some some stuff. But we're starting to rival tour in 2023. We are? Yeah. What's it called? It's TBD. We haven't got that far. Yeah. We're still trying to draft that uh, weekly newsletter for people who want to play golf with us. Correct. <laughs> but we'll get there. One, one thing at a time. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a slow burn. We're still looking for yeah. backing. We're trying to find um, like a we're trying to find like a government with less human rights violations to back us. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. This weekend in fun. Wait for it. Wait for those steel drums. Is that a xylophone? It's hard to That's say. That's a xylophone. It's a steel xylophone. I don't know. Presented by Early Bird it CBD. Y'all know what Early Bird's all about. These gummies are recreational hemp products that contain around two and a half milligrams of natural THC and around 12 and a half milligrams of CBD in each gummy. They're formulated for fun and to make you feel good. I can't say enough positive things about Early Bird CBD. I took one the other night just to like mellow out and get tired. And boy, did it work absolutely perfectly. I got a little high, a little bit, not too much. I got a little giggly and feeling loose. And I had an incredible night of sleep. I'm not exaggerating when I say I take them every weeknight. I They're take, delightful. I, I take one. I eat dinner. And then about 7.30 or 8, I take one. Helps me wind down. Maybe I drop into Verdansk or whatever the new one is. And then I'm in bed. 10 to 10.30, out like a light. I love it. And I wear their hat to the gym. Thank you, Justin, for the hat. Wow. Dang. Yeah. That's guerrilla marketing. Wow. Yeah. Early Bird, as you know, it's a company that is based out of Austin, Texas. Not only are they, they local to us, but they're also our first ever sponsor for Wash Media and the Circling Back podcast. And for that, but for that alone, go support them as they supported us early on. If you want to go support them and support this podcast, you can go over to earlybirdcbd.com, use promo code STEAM, and you get 20% off everything. This is a single use code, which means you got to load that cart the first time you go in or else you're going to be kicking yourself when you're paying full price later down the line. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Go to earlybirdcbd.com, use promo code STEAM, and boom, you got a bunch of early birds showing up at your doorstep and you're about to be chill on. Dylan, what are you doing this weekend? Thank you for asking, Will. Um, Friday, kind of a big day for me and the little guy. I'm taking my son Parks, a.k.a. the homie, to the University of Texas baseball game. Your number one Texas Longhorns playing Alabama. Parks, as you guys know, has uh, gotten into baseball lately. So I want him to see how uh, the big kids play, you know? Best team in the nation. Woo-wee! Weather is a little iffy. It's going to be cold. So It's not going to feel good to, to take a, a pitch off the, closer to the handle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mo buddy. I don't know, this guy, I don't know this what I'm saying. This baseball guy here. I don't know what you I'm saying. You ain't kidding. No, that was pretty good. So I'm really excited for that. Hopefully, Parks, he was really excited when I told him we were going. Hopefully, he's uh, as excited to, to be there. I think, I think he's going to love it, honestly. 
Is he going to get a hot dog? Uh, probably, yeah. Big hot dog guy. It's me a late night for the little guy. His bedtime is usually 8 o'clock. Game starts at 7. Is it a double header? No, one game Friday, one game Saturday, one game Sunday. A three-game set. That's that, yeah. That's usually how they work. College baseball. Do they only play three games a week? They only play on the weekends? Uh, no, they do. They, they're they playing a tournament, right? Not in a tournament, a series right now against Cor- University of Texas Corpus Christi? Corpus uh-huh. Christi A&M, one of those. It's in Corpus. I'm going to some baseball game in the, the next month or so that's against a, like Incarnate Word or something. I was like, sweet. Oh, they got a good program. Yeah. Word? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, date night Saturday. Bay and I stepping out. Not sure where we're going. We're <gasps> stepping out though. Kind of a, kind of like a, a loose anniversary for us. Don't cuck my an- my actual yeah, anniversary. You, what's what's this guy's problem? It's, today's my actual anniversary, and you're gonna sit here cucking it. She likes to recognize the 25th because that was our second date. That's when things really kind of took off for us. That's always oh. that's always usually the the time when people oh, Dave, celebrate not, their anniversary sorry. the second date. Not that kind of takeoff day. Um, it was the the date that we planned our. Uh, she was like, "I'm coming to Cabo with you," so it was kind of like a, a monumental. Anyway, it didn't really. Y'all don't care. Monumental. Y'all don't really care. No, no, no. Keep going. Uh, that's all I really have. But honestly, I can't stop thinking about next weekend because that's Vegas, baby. Just relax. We got to um, get through this weekend first. I know, but I can't stop thinking about next weekend. You guys aren't gonna believe my weekend. I'm gonna start it off by congratulating one Zach Johnson on his upcoming upcoming uh, Ryder Cup. Captainship. Captainship? Sure. Announced today. He will be uh he will be getting the boys all in a tizzy for the Ryder Cup in Italy. Can't wait. Sure we won't do any content around that. Man. Ragazzi Johnson. <laughs> Dude, no one's gonna motivate me like like Zeej in the Imagine Zeej in the just, locker room. I, oh, just killing it in Milan or wherever. I feel I, I feel bad for your mentions during that Ryder Cup, Dave, as you you are going to have nothing. I know. Nothing but screenshots of Zach Johnson being sent to you all weekend. And you know what? If you want to send those to at D Carter Ruff on Twitter or at DC Ruff on Instagram, go for it. That's fine. No one's sending you screenshots of Zeej on Instagram. I know. I just wanted to, to get the followers up. So what are you actually doing besides congratulating Zach Johnson? In addition to just celebrating that moment, um, we really I'm going to try to lay low because obviously the, the following weekend is is Vegas, and we really I don't think we have any plans whatsoever. I know people love hearing that. Yeah, it makes them really stoked for this segment, but that is uh, that is the truth. I I got all horny for golf. You want a link? And then the weather's it's bad. It's cold. Maybe a wintry mix overnight. I don't anticipate anything that keeps us out of the office, but stay tuned. You want a link or not? I do want a link. I would like to go do, um, like, a not beer? necessarily brunch, but I want to do some Ooh. early afternoon stout beers. I'll do a brunchy with you. I wish that, what was that um, Irish pub that we liked or y'all liked? And I went that one time. Was it Nodding Donkey? No. Darcy's Donkey? Darcy's, Darcy's Donkey. donkey. Yeah. Need, it no some, longer exists, David. Donkey. I need a place like that. Darcy's Donkey. I want to go because I want to be very cold as I'm walking in. Yeah. I want to get like a big old stout Guinness. I don't want to drink it. I would have been sick. Dude, don't bring up Darcy's, dude. Meat don't bring it up. And, meat pies and Guinness? <laughs> it's gone. It's never okay. coming back. Well, I'm sorry. It's currently vacant. Oh, fuck. Should we just buy it and turn it back into Darcy's Donkey? We can make it our, our new Call it the Freezy's Donkey. New studio. That'd be tight. Pints with the lads. I'm not doing much this weekend. I got I, 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 recovering from COVID. I still got a little exhaustion issue. I'm not trying to not trying to turn out this weekend too much. Uh, Friday night I will be staying at home, and I think I'm going to start a show that's very popular on Netflix uh, across across the ocean. You need my password, Lupin. Oh, you guys seen this? No. New. I think there's a new season coming out soon, so I want to get up to date so that I can get in on it. It's a very popular show. Um, and I'm probably going to end up, uh, doing a little date night on Saturday. We're celebrating our anniversary tonight, but our original plans to do it this weekend. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, restaurant. We're going to go to Jeffrey's Ooh, Steakhouse. Man, what's yeah. the damage going to be? Not, it's not, pretty, it's going to be a lot of money, serious. Dylan. It's, I'm not, not happy about this. You're doing two dinners, man. Not to expose them, but they canceled, they kind of savagely canceled one of our reservations around Christmas. We like to go there right before Christmas. They canceled it and, uh, they they were kind of rude about it. And Wait, isn't that when everybody had COVID? Uh, 
I wouldn't say everybody based on the fact that they didn't cancel uh, that many reservations that night. Oh, I thought that's when they closed. No, they didn't close. They just canceled uh, some reservations and we made ours about four months in advance. So I, I was kind of shocked to see that we got we got cut, but it is what it is. I guess we're small ballers in their eyes. Damn, son. that's fine with me. So I uh, always feel like the smallest baller when I go into Jeffrey's. I do too. We, we Everybody in there are. looks like yeah. they're important. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They make a hell of a it's, steak, though. They have some good. Food. Bring back the martini cart. I'm gonna. Yeah, they, that's. Should I bring a sign that says "Bring back the martini cart"? Should you I be dude with guy. sign? Dude, they make, dude they make with sign. Killing it. Really good mezcal Negroni as well. I don't drink mezcal Negronis. I'm well, more of a traditionalist. I, I, I like gin just fine. Why did you buzz the lens when you said that? I don't know. Yeah, we got Western Dorn here. Like, yeah, I drink. I, I like my mezcal Negroni. They don't. They, they didn't drink those. I get it. You don't know that. I get my mezcal Negroni from the Dick Saloon. There's no way that anyone back then was drinking Negroni. You know how in movies they just like order like a bottle of whiskey, then just just pour their own shots. Like that doesn't happen. I was I was always so annoyed by that. Maybe it doesn't in your world, you're dog. You're, you're just soft. You just pass me the bottle. You're going to the little ballers. Negronis saloon. have been around since 1919. So, you could make a case that... How long has Mezcal been around, though? A long time. I don't know. What, you think Mezcal is just some new thing? Look it up, dog. 400 years ago, when the Spanish conquerors arrived in Mexico, they taught distillation techniques to the native inhabitants, and the first distilled spirit of America's, of the Americas was born, Mezcal. Wow. Okay, so it's been around for Imperialism. a Imperialism. Look at that. Mm. Shouts all the Mezcals out there. Let's go. Should we wrap this up? Yep, that was a fun one. Holler at the pipeline, 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Get in, get out. Be tactical. Bye. Bye.